Welcome to Kama Jojo Wild World. You'll find the most exciting praise and the best outdoor equipment here. When the season for shooting bows arrives, everything improves. You can easily spot deer, and there's a good chance you've already bagged a trophy buck or doe. The problem is that suddenly all of the bucks disappears. It could be challenging to locate a mature doe by the time October rolls around. This is known as the October lull among hunters. What about deer? Do they really hide or sleep? A field and stream article examined this very question, with the help of specialist Dr. Mark Connor, who works at Chesapeake Farms in Maryland. Using GPS collars, Connor and a graduate student were able to monitor the whereabouts of adult bucks throughout the day. They discovered that buck activity steadily rises from late summer to the rut, during which time bucks are more nocturnal and harder to spot than ever. Bucks, in particular, increased their daily mobility from 1.5 miles in late summer to almost 2 miles in early October and 2.5 miles per day during the rut. That is to say, contrary to popular belief, buck activity is highest in October, despite the fact that it is traditionally considered a slow month. It is therefore evident that hunters' observations differ from scientific findings. The difference lies in the fact that the slowdown isn't due to fewer deer movements but rather a shift in the frequency with which they occur. As a result, hunters are often caught off guard. Nighttime activity among deer is low at the moment. As the pressure mounts, they are instead shifting their routines and avoiding their usual paths. However, that is not the only issue. Since we started hunting almost a month ago, most deer seasons have ended. This indicates that the deer herd has been overly stressed by hunters. The seasonal shift also causes a shift in the available foods. There will be a significant shift in the diet of white-tailed deer on and around hunting properties as crops are harvested. Deer can also find it difficult to move when acorns are present. The herd will start exploring new areas of your property in search of food. It's not easy to track down a buck based on its movements alone when hunting due to the dispersed nature of the available food. Both the climate and the distribution of the population have undergone dramatic shifts. The onset of autumn signals a shift in the deer's hormones, causing an increase in activity. Bedding areas and core ranges are undergoing change as leaves fall and brush is laid down. If you want to bag a deer during this season, you'd better keep moving. The rule of the herd dictates that you must follow suit if it makes a change. There may be more deer sign in the hardwoods, so if you aren't seeing many in the food plots, head there to find natural browse. Looking for heavily traveled trails that connect bedding areas to food sources is a good strategy during this time of year when bucks are on the move even more. One of these alleys would be ideal for your booth. Also, consider installing trail cameras at various points on your land. You can see how the funds have been spent this way. Keep track of how long you stay at one location. Deer will be more wary of humans from now on because they are used to being chased. You shouldn't constantly be checking your cameras or hunting stands. It's important to keep moving and to have access to a wide variety of hunting grounds, both of which are advantageous because of the variable nature of the wind. One constant is that the movement of deer is affected differently by different hunters and different tracts of land. This makes it difficult to use the word lull to describe a period of time during deer season. The woods are always pleasant, regardless of whether October is a busy or slow month. Thanks for your time. You can subscribe to us if you like what we do.